Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just make an introduction and then she starts. So um, today is the first project for English in Mind 4 and the topic of this project was a special person and uh, our special person is Dua Lipa, is a, uh, she's a pop star and uh, you'll be seeing a lot of her during this presentation. So today we decided to talk about Dua Lipa, who is Dua Lipa and what, when did she become famous? Uh, Dua Lipa is a girl uh, from uh, London, but her parents were from Kosovo. She was born on 20, 22nd of August 1995. When she was a young a baby, her parents moved to the west side of Europe in London, and then uh, they stayed there till Dua was uh, uh, 11 years old. Uh, uh, she stayed here from 11 until she became 15 years old and when uh, she became 15 years old she uh, decided to go back to London and uh, continue her studies there but also follow her dream. She always wanted to be a singer because her dad was also part of a band in London and she liked to, to continue to be a singer too. Uh, here we have some pictures of uh, Dua Lipa when she was a uh, baby, a uh, young baby. Um, and this is another picture when she was a toddler. And as you can see, she's not that different uh, from the way she looks now. So her, her appearance hasn't changed, but and neither has her personality. So um, she lived in London for a good part of her life, and when she came here, she just couldn't get used to life here. So she wanted to go back to London, and she somehow convinced her parents to go to London. And um, she, go she went there and she started following her dream. Um, the first years, she had to earn her own living, so she had to work. She usually worked in uh, some nightclubs, and pubs, she worked as a hostess, a waitress, anything that she basically could. And she would do anything to follow her dreams. And in an interview, she said that the drama of the nightlife is what is first inspired her to write music. So, of course, uh, even though she was living abroad, her parents were still worried about her, and they would ask her to text them, very often, every second of every day. And she said that that's why she has a very uh, deep connection to her parents and her siblings. And um, so she never wanted to quit her dream. And uh, then she when she discovered that she was very interested in art, then she enrolled uh, the Sylvia Young Academy. And then, um, uh, she started uh, going around the world singing and she would uh, gather up in those garage bands, sing some covers for some songs that she likes and that's how her, her career really began because people really like those uh, covers of hers because uh, she has everything in an, that an artist should have in their personality, she's very sweet and uh, she stays true to herself and um, she doesn't pretend to be someone who uh, she's not. She has a very sweet voice and um, a very interesting style. Uh, recently she's been going around the world uh, touring. Uh, now uh, Ilka is going to talk about us for her song about her songs and producers and everything else. So let's talk. <coughs> a bit about her career. In 2015, uh, Lipa started working on her debut album for Warner Bros. Records. In uh, 21st August, uh, uh, one day, uh, 2015, one day before her 19th birthday, uh, she uh, released her first single, which is called, which, which was called New Love, produced by uh, Emily, Emily Wayne and uh, Edna Wyatt. In, uh, uh, after two months in, in months in October, in 29th October 2015, she released her second single, uh, which was called Be The One. 
and uh, uh, written by Lucy Paul uh, Taylor. And uh, in 18th February 2016, uh, she released her uh, third single, which was called The Last Dance. Last Dance got millions of views in, her, in its first week after release. Um, Lipa describes herself as uh, the joy club. Uh, on 30th November 2015, she was also revealed as uh, as one of the acts in the in the BBC song of the 2016 long list. Uh, her new song is coming soon and called uh, Hard, will be called Harder Than Hell. And uh, her debut album is uh, going to release in. 6, 6th May 2016, her biggest fans are waiting. She actually is not loved only by her fans, but also by other artists. She's been um, very um, nice to all the people and they've treated her very well. For example, uh, the very famous band Maroon 5, they have supported every song of hers by sharing it on their account in Twitter. So she, she's been uh, very nice and she's also very responsive to her fans. Uh, so as I said earlier, she's touring around the world and uh, just a couple of weeks ago she was in Australia and now she's back to London. And uh, she has won, even though she's a young artist, she's been nominated for some very prestigious awards uh, such as um, Best New Artist by BBC Radio. Hmm. If there's anything you would like to ask, feel free. Anyone has any questions? <laughs>